It's a beautiful day here at Red Hen Racing. Uh, we're getting some work done on the Supra today. We got new seats, we got some new wheels, and I really think you're gonna like what I picked out for you. Speed it up, 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 speed it up. Go faster, ay, go faster, ay, go faster, ay, go faster, ay. The Supra is actually in really good shape on the interior. Uh, some of the worst part of it is the seats. The seats are a little, they're, they're showing their age some. I hate it because these are some of the best stock seats in any car ever. They're actually really comfortable and have really good bolstering and stuff. I love these seats, but they are pretty aged. And if you've noticed in any of the other Supra footage, uh, my head is constantly touching the ceiling because of who I am as a person. So we're just gonna be trying something different. Take a look at what we're throwing in here. Don't look at those yet. Jesus Christ. Who organizes this garage? All right. Here we have a pair of Corbo RRXs. R... Corbo R... So we got a pair of Corbo RRXs. And I went with these because uh, they look really good. This is the widest model that Corbo makes. And I've actually been eyeballing them for the Miata, but I haven't seen anyone put them in the Miata before. So I don't know if they'll fit. When it comes to the Miata, seat selection is very limited because not a lot of stuff fits in there, myself included. So lower to stock seats are the best option for the Miata right now. But I think these will be really good in here. And I'm hoping that they're gonna lower it. Let me sit like an inch lower, but we won't know till we get them in there. Here's the little side trim pieces. And here's all the wiring. But Gavin, why do you need wiring for your seats? Ah, uh, these are heated, oh boy. Because we intend to run this car, because we intend to run this car in winter rallies this winter. And also because it stays below freezing like eight months of the year up here for some reason. Heated seats are really nice. I'm not gonna worry about the wiring today just so that we can get this knocked out and get them physically in the car. We'll get them wired up later. We got a pair of Corbos, we got rails for them that are meant for the car so it should be pretty straightforward hopefully we can just pull these out and plop the new ones in these seats out. I'm going to start with the passenger side so that if we do run into a debilitating issue, it's still drivable and I haven't fucked with the driver's side yet. <laughs> Alright, here's the new rails. Alright, this will bolt to the seat first and then bolt in place in the car. Well, that's easy enough. Here's our dongle for the heated. We just gotta pull these Allen bolts to bolt it to the rails. Beep, 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 beep. I'm too big. Let's see if this happens to be the right one. The biggest one on this set. Hey, that's it. It's got a little pass through for the fifth point of your harness too. Because we are eventually going to cage and harness this car as well. That's another reason that I went with these because even though the stock seats have that pass through over the shoulders, that's not really a proper way to run harnesses. When installing harnesses, there's a lot of specific angles and measurements that you need to look at for them to be installed properly and safely. So uh, just slapping harnesses through the holes that exist in your stock seat might not be a correct option. But these are. I'm gonna get flagged for copyrighted music. No. No, you're not. You can sing as much as you want to, I think. Go ahead and leave in the comments uh, your karaoke requests for the next video, and we will absolutely honor any and all song requests. Whatever you want to hear, I got you. Copyright free. Oh, you can get to the back ones. But then we have to slide it to get to the front ones. It has to be something I know all the words to, though. Uh, so pretty much the only things that are safe are tequila 
and anything by T Swizzy. So you can request any song you want as long as it's one of those. Ooh, ooh, almost got my fingies. These rails went together the easiest out of any seats I've ever installed in anything. Not a lot of seats. Well, they still slide. Yeah, these slide. These are on sliders. There we go. Rails on. See if it just happens to just plop into place nice and easy. Now, it is relatively heavy as far as uh, aftermarket seats go, but these are meant to be a little more luxurious than lightweight, so I'm okay with it. My drive to work is usually like two or three hours, so if I'm ever going to drive it to work, they need to be something I can stand to be in for that long. Fronts went in easy. Ah, there we go. No, that one doesn't want to go. Let's try the other side. All right, that's in there. Passenger side's done, and it looks good. But I'm not gonna give it a test sit until both sides are done. It looks good though. Let's, let's take a look. It's fucking hot. Why is it so fucking hot? Oh. What's that, pretzels? You asked for a hand? Jesus Christ. Weird. All right, let's get the let's get the other one mounted up in here. Driver's side done. Easy enough. I'll see how it sits. Could probably drive it right here. <sighs> well, they look really good. Unfortunately, they actually sit higher than the stock seats. And the only thing I can figure for that is that because of the slider mechanisms, there's actually a pretty substantial gap that they sit up really high off the floorboards for some reason. Only thing I can think of to fix this is to ditch the rails and just bolt them to the floor. It's not my first choice because in order for my cameraman to be able to drive this thing, they, they, they have to slide. There's a significant difference in our leg lengths. I, I don't see how this was designed to be acceptable for anybody, honestly. I can't picture a single case in which the aftermarket seats should sit higher than stock, much less by this much. Uh, it's pretty substantial, so I am going to reach out to Corbo and see if they uh, care. I don't know. I don't blame them necessarily, but uh, yeah, we might wind up just bolting them to the floor. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. Let's do something that will be a great success and get these wheels mounted up. good so as you can see we got a little bit of wheel gap going on uh, we don't want to lower it too much because it is the rally car oh, God. Yes. but it does need something the suspension is pretty weeble wobbly and very obviously sits too high now don't don't look at the oil spots come back up We've acknowledged that it leaks a lot of oil, but because we have our priorities right, we're doing wheels and seats and suspension. F*** that oil. I'm hoping that I can get away with not fixing the oil leak until it's time to swap it, which I also haven't decided what swap we're going with, but we'll burn that bridge another time. If you want to see what we do get into with it though, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's actually free. 
Fun fact, I, I made sure that they won't charge you for it. Otherwise, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Love you.